24 tonight, Congresswoman Cori Bush garnering several new endorsements tonight as she works to keep her U.S. House seat in the upcoming election. As that race heats up, we are asking the Congresswoman after our request why she hasn't taken the debate stage with her opponents. Russell Kinsaw is live tonight after attending a rally she held today. Russell. So right now I'm on the Del Mar Loop, which is the geographic center of the 1st Congressional District. Up till now, voters in this district have not had a chance to hear the candidates at a debate, lay out their positions on the issues, and defend their records. And with a little over three weeks to go before Election Day, they may not get that chance. We are the union! We are the union! Incumbent Congresswoman Cori Bush held a rally Friday to announce the endorsements from five local unions. I will never leave out our workers. I will never leave out our children and our families. And for me, taking care of all the people is all the people. The rally ran late. I tried to ask Bush why she won't participate in any candidate debates. As she walked away, she said she hasn't refused to debate, then left without explaining why she hasn't said yes to any debates, with time running out before the election. So I turned to her supporters at the rally to ask them. I'm not part of her campaign, so I, I don't feel that comfortable to answer that question. Uh, but we are in support of Cory Bush for what she's done. We, we support the works more than the words. A spokesperson for the Wesley Bell campaign released this statement on the subject. It's unfortunate that our congressperson ducks and hides from being held accountable for her record of opposing major Democratic bills just to get headlines and attention. Or perhaps she doesn't want to answer questions about being under federal criminal investigation for misusing taxpayer dollars. Former State Senator Maria Chappelle Nadal, one of the candidates in the race, called candidate debates as American as apple pie. And she added they allow voters to hear where candidates stand on the issues. And this is really an important theme that's been going on in this election. She hasn't been showing up to neighborhood meetings. She was very late for the Clayton Hadley Township meeting. The League of Women Voters Executive Director did not criticize Bush when I spoke with her about the Congresswoman's lack of participation in debates, but she says they are helpful and we think voters need a chance to see the candidates and decide for themselves. So the League of Women Voters is holding a candidate forum on Sunday. All the candidates will be there, but it's not a debate. Each candidate will have 12 minutes to talk, but there'll be no questions, no challenging, no debating. That's 3 o'clock at the Rung for Women on Sydney Sunday. All candidates will be there. Live in the Delmar Loop, Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4.